Okay, in the last class we discussed about the XML elements, attributes and entity references. XML contain what that we discussed in the last class. So, now we can understand what is a DTD, how to define the structure of the XML document in the DTD. Okay. DTD stands for document type definition. DTD stands for document type definition. DTD is a XML technique, XML technique used to define the structure of XML document. DTD is a XML technique used to define the structure of a XML document. So, XML elements, XML attributes, XML entity references, entity references, functionality we are defining inside the DTD. That is why what I am saying is DTD is a XML technique used to define the structure of a XML document. Okay, DTD is a DTD is a text based document with the dot DTD extension. It is a text based document with a dot DTD extension. DTD contains DTD contains element declarations attribute declarations, entity references declarations, TTD contains element declarations, attribute declarations, entity references declarations. So, in DTD what we are learning now, how to declare one element, how to declare one attribute, how to declare one entity reference. Okay, now, observe how to declare one element in DTD. Element declaration syntax. So, observe in DTD to declare an element, an attribute, an entity reference, to declare any component, here we can use the declaration syntax this is called as declaration syntax. This declaration syntax we can use. So, how to declare the element? In the declaration syntax we can use element, element name space content model. This is a syntax required to declare one element in DTD. Here this element name is your own choice as per the application requirement we can use a element name and this element is allows text data or this element is allows child elements or this element is a empty element or this element is allows mix of all that we can describe by using content model. So, content model is specifying this element is allows text data or this element is allows child elements or this element is allows mix of all that is specifying by content model. For example, here I am taking one element declaration like this element, element employee. So, my element name is employee. Inside the employee, I want to, to define some child elements like EMP number, name, comma, salary. So, here this is called as what? Content model. This content model is specifying employee element is allows three child elements that are EMP number, name, 
and a salary. But here whatever the child elements you want to, to define inside the AEM employee the child element declarations also compulsory we can provide in this DTD declaration. Okay, now observe how to declare this EMP number element EMP number element name I want to allow only text data for EMP number to allow only text data for EMP number here we can use one data type that is called PC data that is called PC data ok. So, what is PC data? PC data is a data type is a data type used only for elements. If any element is declared with PC data the element only allows the text data only. So, if any element is declared with the PC data the element allows only the text data only. So, here employees allows three child elements EMP number name salary, but EMP number is allows only the text data. Similar to EMP number remaining elements also you can declare elements name space PC data element ok salary space PC data. So, this is one DTD ok in this DTD I am defining total 4 elements what are that 4 elements one is employee element and 3 child elements for employee EMP number name and salary. So, here observe this content model is specifying what the element allows child elements or the element allows text data. So, for any element if you want to allow only the child elements then all the child elements we can specify in the content model. For any element if you want to allow only text data then in the content model we can use one data type that is PC data. PC data stands for parsable character data parsable character data okay. for this DTD how we are writing XML. So, observe as per this DTD you can write the XML like this employee EMP number for example, 101 close EMP number name for example, Rama close name salary 18000 close salary close employee element. You know XML XML elements are user defined elements. So, your employee employee number name salary these are user defined elements and XML elements structure we are defining XML elements structure we are defining inside the DTD. So, here these XML elements structure I am defining in a DTD ok. So, like we are defining the structure of the XML in the DTD, but here what is required to be understand is in this content model how many types of declarations are possible. In this example just I am using only two types one element is a specifying the child elements one element is specifying the child elements three elements are allowing what text only data. So, observe in the content model in the content model total 5 types of elements declarations are possible in the content model 5 types of elements declarations are possible ok. What are that 5 types? One is text only element 
next child only element empty elements any elements mixed elements mixed elements so like total five types of elements are possible text only element means if any element is allows only the text data then the type of element is called as text only element here emp number name salary these are allows only the text data so these three are called as what text only elements and in the xml this numerical value this string value both are considering as a text data only 101 rama 18000 these are considered as what text data only so to allow a numerical value to allow the string value that means to allow the text data in the content model we can use pc data data type next child only elements if any element is allows if any element is allows only the child elements then the type of element is called as child only element here the best example employee is a child only type element because employees allows only the child elements okay so now observe to declare this child only elements in the content model just we are writing what child element names by separating with the comma okay now here one point observe to understand empty any plus mixed elements some other concepts are required that is a cardinality operator concept is there so after completing the cardinality operators concept i will introduce about empty element any element and a mixed elements okay in this example just only i am showing how to declare one element in dtd okay and as for this dtd declaration how to write the elements in the xml so next before going to be discussing these are types of elements first it is required to be understand how to how to map or how to link this dtd with this xml here dtd is available in one place xml is available in one place so how to link this dtd with this xml first it is required to be understand so now concentrate here how to map the dtd with xml so now we can understand how to map or how to link the dtd with the xml actually to link the dtd with xml in xml document in xml document you can use you can use doc type declaration you can use doc type declaration so to map the dtd with xml in xml document we can use doc type declaration so here how to use this doc type declaration in xml document to understand one point is required to be understand how many types of dtds are there actually two types of dtds are there one is called internal dtds and another one is called external dtds internal dtds external dtds internal dtds means if you are writing the dtd within the xml document then the type of dtd is called as internal dtd if you are writing the dtd in a separate text based document and if you are linking with xml then that type of dtds are called external dtds so internal dtds we are writing within the xml document only 
but when we are working with external DTDs, DTD documents we are maintaining separately, XML documents we are maintaining separately, but to map the internal DTDs with XML elements, to map the external DTDs with the XML elements, always we require to use doc type declaration only. Okay, now, understand how to use internal DTD, how to use internal DTD. So, here internal DTDs, if you want to write, we can use the following syntax, doc type space root element space here DTD rules close. Here whatever the XML elements you required, the XML elements we can write. So, now observe here one example to understand how we are writing internal DTDs. For example, here doc type space root element is employee, next start the DTD rules. In DTD what we are declaring? Elements we are declaring. So, you know already how to declare one element, element, element name, employee, element allows what? Child elements like EMP number, comma, name, comma, salary, next EMP number, EMP number allows only text data, to allow only the text data we can use one data type PC data. Similar to EMP number we can declare name and salary. So, here I am declaring name, 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 next year I am declaring I am declaring salary PC data. Okay, then close the DTD, then close the doc type declaration. Next, we can write the elements as per this DTD. Okay, now I am going to be writing XML elements employee EMP number. Okay, same content I am using 101, next name like Rama, close name, salary 18,000, close salary, then close employee. Okay, now, we can save this document with any name dot XML, with any name dot XML. So, now here I am going to be saving with the name of employee dot XML in G drive XML folder. Okay. So, this type of DTDs are called as what internal DTDs. If you are defining the DTDs within the XML document then the type of DTD is called as internal DTD. This internal DTD is specific to this XML document only, specific to this XML document only and internal DTDs are not reusable because these are specific to this XML document only. Because of that reason, it is always recommended to work with external DTDs. So, in the next class, I will discuss about the external DTDs. Thank you for watching.